Malik Norris died at around 3 Sunday afternoon as he strolled down a roaring creek street heading to a friend's home. He was shot once as he passed this house by another youth he knew, a youth with whom he'd allegedly had an altercation recently. Ashton Puerto had gone to visit his aunt to tell her about the misunderstanding. She counseled him to let it go and left him sitting in this sofa under the house. As fate would have it, a large snake was at the front of the yard and a frightened neighbor called to Puerto for help. That's when he came to the front of the yard and saw Norris passing. When Malik say Ashton and Malik call out the knife, and Ashton he must get coward and fright, think that Malik will come back out and Ashton run under my house bottom, pick up a piece of pipe like this, and made out of this with uh, and take the bullet out of the pocket and knock the gun, he knock the gun. From where they say knock the gun, when he knock the gun, the, the Thing shot the lead boy and the lead boy jumped on the ground. Eh? When I panic on the ball, he left Miss Kenja. He said, Miss Kenja, you shot me again. So I run through the back door and I tell Ashton, please not do it again. And I saw he had an auntie. He said, hmm, auntie. I bust through the, through the back there. So Norris was hit by pellets to the abdomen and forearm. Neighbors rushed to help him, but by the time he reached the hospital, he was gone. Before he did, he said, he said, I was dead. And Miss Catherine, whole night, and I said, no, Papa, he said, we are reaching time, but he never make it. They never make it. They never make it. We just got a phone call that he got shot. They told us he got shot like right down the lane from where he lives. By the time we tried to get down the lane, we got another phone call that they already rushed him to the hospital. So we just sped off to the hospital. The preliminary investigation by the police supports reports that the two youth were involved in a prior altercation. It would seem it, it's, um, it has to do with retaliation. It seems maybe a week or just over a week ago, the deceased might be might have been involved in a stabbing incident with the accused. It was never reported to us here at the Belopan police station and we are saddened by that because if we knew of it, we could have taken um, action and might have stemmed this, this murder. Ashton Puerto's freedom was short-lived and he was taken into custody Sunday night. Gillette says that the youth is cooperating with them in the investigation. We immediately launched an investigation and I am very pleased to report that we have been able to capture the suspect and we now have the weapon we believe was used in that um, horrible incident. I want to outright offer my sympathies to the family and friends of the deceased and we will work with that family to, to help them to bring closure. As a matter of fact, I believe we're almost nearing the point when I will direct our officers to go ahead and, and lay charges against the suspect who we have in our custody. For the police, the case seems clear-cut. But for the families of the two teenagers and for the community, the tragic situation is anything but. Their grief and frustration are overwhelming. Malik was like another son to me, the way I loved Malik. The news, the news really hit me hard. I, it, it's just, it's sad. Malik went just like that. Malik loved everyone. I have a granddaughter that Malik loved. She weep when we passed, he held the baby, and the baby yelled after him, and he like he attempted to chase her, and she was running. That was the last we saw Malik. But the smile, Malik always has a smile on his face, always happy. The sad man, this Ryan Cricker need help. This Ryan Cricker have a lot of children where they're out of the street. When when are they in a school have a lot of young girl when are they in a school have a lot of young boy when are they in a school. This place I need help because a lot of lot of different things that will could happen make happen for their children. I mean that the I like to beg the government or whosoever were responsible to try help the lead youth so we to take all and think about the load negativity. Nothing positive no they out there for them. And I help that the way they need that the I will beg on a fast help them in. Please. Mike Rodon for News Five.